Here on the Pioneer Vision Weekly Report for Women's Lacrosse, and I'm here with a pair of co-captains, Kate Kamiotech and Jessica and Grilly. And guys, uh, off to a, a one-on-one start to the season, tough loss to Brown in the, in the season opener, and you guys rebounded yesterday with a 12-10 win against Iona. Uh, Kate, let's talk about your performance. You had a career-high seven points, three goals, four assists. You're off to a fast start. Lead the team with nine points on the year. Talk about uh, your game yesterday uh, and uh, I guess where you're at at this point in the season and, and you know how, how you felt so far getting acclimated in the offense. Um, I just kind of came off of our last game knowing that I had to focus and come out against Iona really big and I guess I was just really focused. And Well talk about uh, the first half the team's offense I think really clicked. Uh, uh, a lot of different pioneers found uh, the back of the cage. You guys really spread the ball around. I think uh, all but one of the goals was assisted. Mm -hmm. So big first half yesterday, and then you had a couple goals late in the second half that helped cement that win. How important was it to get that victory yesterday? Um, I think it was really important. We really needed to come out there and get our first one for the season. Um, we needed to change the momentum of the season so that we can keep winning and have a successful one. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk to you, Jessica. Now. Two years off, you had a big freshman campaign where you, you were an all-conference player. You were off, uh, missed the last two years. You're back this year. You're off to a great start, four goals and an assist. Uh, you've got uh, four ground balls, five draw wins. First of all, how, how, how has it been trying to get back into the groove of things after like, two years away from, from lacrosse? Has it been tough, and do you feel like you're all the way back at this point? Um, it's definitely been tough. Um, you know, Two years off is definitely a long time without playing lacrosse. But everyone's really helped me out, you know, pushing me and getting me back into shape. And um, I feel like I'm, it's, it's coming back slowly, but um, steady. But um, yeah, so I'm just really happy to be back playing. Is it more, it, what's the hardest part? Is it the mental aspects of the game or do you think it's more uh, getting used to, you know, actually game action as opposed to kind of just, you know, a practice situations? Um, I think it was kind of a little bit of both just because you know, mentally, you really have to stay focused and, you know, composed. Um, and then, you know, games are really the, the best part. So getting back into them is just, you know, it's really been great. And that, like, competitiveness and aggressiveness is just all coming back with me. So Let's talk about the games. Like I said, it was a tough start with that Brown game. But you guys bounced back, and I thought that was, was an important win so you can kind of springboard yourself here uh, with so many home games in the front part of the schedule. Give me your assessment of the team so far and the way you guys have worked in practice and how you feel you've gelled, especially in yesterday's game. Well, the good thing about Brown was that we never gave up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously the score wasn't what we wanted, but um, I think everyone worked really hard, and I think that kind of pushed us through um, practice to get us to Iona, and, you know, solidifying that win was really big for us. Um, it's always really hard to get that first win, but... I think now we, we see what we're capable of and what we can handle. So hopefully um, we just continue, you know, with um, playing hard and winning. So. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, talk a little bit about this offense. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of options out there, a lot of people yeah. who could put the ball, uh, you know, in the net. Uh, yesterday you had four assists. What is it like when you're out there and if you're trying to distribute the ball, how, how do you determine who on any given play or in any given situation might be the best person uh, to get a shot? The great thing about our offense this year is that we are so well-rounded. It's not really a having to determine who is going to be the person for that play. It's really everyone, any depending on where you are during the play, anyone. I trust every single person on the offense to throw a feed to. I trust them that they're going to catch it and finish. So it's been really great. Like just having a well-rounded offense and being able to trust everyone. Great. And let's talk about the other side of it. Defensively, uh, I know you're a big part of the midfield. And uh, what, what about this team defensively? Uh, you know, it, it seemed like yesterday you really clamped down in the first half of that game, caused a lot of problems for Iona. They had 12 turnovers. They really struggled clearing. Is, is that the best that this defense can play? What can we look forward to, I guess, as we move forward? Um, I think everyone should really, you know, keep a close eye on our defense because we put a lot of focus on our offense, but our defense is, you know, like a major part um, of the team. So I think people can expect to see, you know, really good things from the defense. Um, you know, we have Megan who's in goal and she's only been in there for a few short weeks. So, you know, we're really working hard yeah. to protect her and, um, you know, just keep the ball out of you know, our area, and um, I think we're doing a really good job of that. Great, so. great. All right, guys, well, a couple, uh, you get a home game on Saturday. You're going to host Manhattan at 3 o'clock on Campus Field, and then you're going to go on the road for two next week at Fairfield and UConn. Thanks for joining us today, and best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you.